The move seeks to balance between President Donald Trump's aggressive push for border security and reticence by moderates in Washington to commit to an expensive show of force that experts at the border question will actually be productive. The Secure Miles with All Resources and Technology Act, or SMART Act, will be introduced Thursday morning by Republican Representative Will Hurd, whose Texas district has more than 800 miles of the southern border, one-third of the total border with Mexico and more than any other single lawmaker. To back up the bill, Hurd has been using the estimates and insights of Andural Industries, a Silicon Valley-based defense technology company founded by Lucky who also founded Oculus VR. His proposal estimates on the high side a solution of $500,000 per mile, far below the $24.5 million per mile price tag of the government's fiscal year 2018 wall money request. People that are dealing with this issue know that a third-century solution to a 21st-century problem is not going to fix this long-term, Heard told CNN. We haven't looked at all 2,000 miles of our southern border at the same time, and for the last eight years we've tried to have a one-size-fits-all solution to the border, and that doesn't work. Heard is joined by co-sponsors Democratic Texas Representative Henry Queller, a moderate on border issues. California Republican Representative David Volardow, California Republican Representative Steve Knight, New Mexico Republican Representative Steve Pierce, Pennsylvania Republican Representative Brian Fitzpatrick, and Pennsylvania Republican Representative Keith Rothfuss. Trump made a southern border wall a centerpiece of his campaign calling for a massive concrete barrier along the full border with Mexico since then. He has acknowledged that some areas along the path would be unsuitable for a wall for topographic reasons, and has acknowledged that agents want visibility through the wall, as opposed to something opaque. But border state lawmakers and Congress have balked at funding his pledge, denying him money in fiscal year 2017 to begin construction and attempting in the House to tie funding for FY18 to a must-pass military spending package. DHS has also rejected congressional requests for a plan for what the end goal is or a comprehensive plan, saying instead they will go through an iterative process where some stretches are planned each year. The FY18 request for $1.6 billion would fund 74 miles of new construction. Heard calculates that would cost $24.5 million per mile, and up to $33 billion in total across the border. Whereas based on conversations he's had with Anderol, he believes sensor technology, computer imaging and virtual reality headsets could offer a solution for half a million or less. Heard's bill would require DHS to figure out a technological solution first and come up with a complete strategy before moving forward. I would surmise that, the administration has, been thinking that a comprehensive plan is going to cost too much money, Heard told CNN. The amount of money we're talking about for the wall on this secure bus funding package would fund the smart wall across the entire 2,000-mile border. He note that for decades, the border strategy has been to focus almost all of DHS energy on the biggest problem sector of the border, from San Diego, to Arizona, to the Rio Grande Valley in Texas. Doing this piecemeal is what has gotten us to this problem where we are today. And the smart wall is a cost-effective way to actually come up with a plan for the entire border, and do it in a reasonable amount of money that can be funded in a year, Heard said. The smart act would mandate DHS deploy technology along the border where it is the best option, and prevent funding for construction until a comprehensive border strategy, that includes a cost estimate and justification, is submitted to Congress, according to a summary shared with CNN. It would also authorize money for collaboration among different governments along the border and for emergency communications in the region. It's unclear if the bill has much future. An amendment from Heard and a bipartisan group of senators, mostly from Texas, that would have required a comprehensive plan before funding construction was not allowed to be offered on the military funding package the House is expected to pass this week. House leadership would have to approve this bill for consideration. Still, Heard is hoping that when the spending debate happens in earnest, 
Given that the Senate would require 60 votes to pass funding and Democrats are uniformly opposed to the wall, that his ideas will be heard. Whatever is voted on this week is ultimately not going to be thing that funds the government for 2018, so this is only an initial start to a long process, Heard said. You have to have good ideas, you have to have people willing to promote those ideas. You have to have agreements in order to get things done. And the goal should be securing our border, making our country safer, and we should not hamstring ourselves by only focusing on one tool in our toolkit.